What's up everybody? Once again, it is time for Funko News. This edition of Funko News was recorded on January 20th, 2019. Now, first of all, before I get into the real news, let me go ahead and get this egg thing out of the way since some people keep asking about it. And when they first, uh, when Funko first did the video of this, I thought it was kind of obvious that it was a joke. And I'll be honest, I didn't completely get the joke right away, but I thought it's pretty obvious that this was not something that was like 100% legit. So I do want to go ahead and point this out to you all that the egg is just a meme. It's, it's a joke that's going around right now, mainly because there was an egg that set a world record on Instagram for the most likes. And I think it also set a record for the most pettiness as well, because there are a lot of people that went and liked that egg picture just to try to beat out Kylie Jenner's picture of her with her baby. So it is just silly. You know, it's very silly, very petty type of thing that's going on. And um, that's really what it comes down to. And there are some other egg related things that have been going on in the news as well. So, again, it's basically a meme. It's just a joke. Nothing really to stress over. So, yeah, enough about that egg. Like I said, let's get to the real news here. So for starters, pop, pop culture does have many of their um, in, in, many of the NYCC fall exclusives that are available right now without restricted shipping. Normally, they don't um, ex ship exclusives to the U.S. and Canada, but right now, the NYCC exclusives are available for anybody to order from Pop Culture's website. Also, the box lunch exclusive Sora from the time of this recording, it releases tomorrow, which would be Monday, January 21st. It should be in the stores in the morning and online by the evening. So again, the uh, box lunch exclusive Sora, the flocked Sora, does release uh, tomorrow from the time of this recording. There are some Winnie the Pooh mystery minis on the way that should be releasing very soon because they do release this month here in January. Also, the London Toy Fair kicks off tomorrow, again, from the time of this recording, that's January 21st. Trust me, I'm going to be looking, uh, you know, looking at the reveals, checking those out, and I will cover those in the next Funko News video. So, basically, people don't have to ask me if I've seen such and such. Trust me, I'm going to be watching that, you know, keeping an eye on that all day because there are going to be reveals throughout the day. And I'm going to steadily, you know, steadily check that out, um, gather all the information, and I will cover all of that in the next Funko News video, like I said. And then the Michaels exclusive DIY Mickey Mouse is available now. So if you have a Michaels in your area, you might want to check for that. I cannot wait to see what some more custom artists do with that Mickey Mouse. Um, there's already the cool colorways that Funko has been doing. But yeah, I think it's going to be pretty interesting to see what some custom artists come up with. Keeping it moving here, the DC Primal Age figures, um, these are action figures, and you see everything that's available relating to that line here. Um, they were originally an Amazon exclusive, and now they're going to be at Target as well. I'm not surprised by this because I can't imagine that they've been selling super well being just an Amazon exclusive, but they have a much better chance when they're in a store, you know, and people can see them up close, especially kids. And it's not a, um, I don't think it's a coincidence at all that N Funko was basically advertisement for this that they did show kids you know checking out the action figures so yeah they're trying to get these to move basically because i don't think they were really moving on amazon i'm actually looking forward to checking them out up close and i might consider you know picking them up now once i get a good look at them the latest item available in the Funko shop was actually this Huckleberry Hound four pack of Pez. And this was really in celebration of his birthday because the CEO of Funko is just a huge Huckleberry, um, Huckleberry Hound fan. So, yeah, that's why this was released. And this had been revealed previously, but yeah, they finally got released. Um, as far as I know, I think they are still available now at the time of this recording. You can go check that out on the Funko shop. And there are some more Hanna-Barbera Pez on the way. You see the characters here to the right, the Great Grape Ape. Yogi Bear and uh, there's actually two variants there of Yogi Bear because there is a chase of Yogi Bear there as well so these are coming very soon now I already previously shared the Alice at the Mad Tea Party um I don't even know what you call this. I guess it is like a pop ride. Uh, yeah, you know, pop ride. Um, I don't know why I keep debating that. For some reason, it just doesn't really feel like a pop ride. But yeah, it is. Um, so this is actually going to be available very soon at Disney Parks. And like I said, I covered it previously, but I just really like this image of it, a much better image of it and an out of box image of it as well. You know, that looks really cool. So yeah, again, looking forward to adding this to my personal collection, even though I don't normally collect um, Disney figures. This one is pretty awesome. And again, you see where it's going to be available with in the parks there to the right 
So Freddie Freeman is getting a pop figure which will be uh, limited to 15,000 pieces and it's going to release in August at SunTrust Park. So if you're a big fan of him and you can actually make it to that game, uh, be on the lookout for that. And uh, this is one that may be... Um, you know, a lot of people may resell it just because they're they're not really pop collectors. You know, I'm sure there'll be a lot of people that aren't pop collectors at the game. So look for it uh, if you're not able to make it to the game. You know, look for it online. Uh, should be able to find it at a decent price. Club de Cuervos, uh, I mentioned this previously, has pop figures on the way, or it may have been a rumor previously, but yeah, it is official here now that Club de Cuervos does have uh, pops on the way, including Chava Iglesias and Hugo Sanchez, and these are up for a January release. So the Star Wars Return of the Jedi Pops are looking really awesome. To me, I want to run through them again, especially since Funko did the official reveal. And we finally get a look at that Darth Vader, that new Darth Vader figure, where it um, kind of represents him being uh, electrocuted by the Emperor. I suppose that's what it's meant to represent there. I, I like the look of it. It's pretty cool. And I think it would look cool to have those two uh, near each other displayed. Although it does seem like the color of the uh, lightning is different. Uh, on Darth Vader, it appears to be blue with Emperor Power. Palpatine. It looks more like a purplish color, so it'll be interesting to see those two up close to see if the uh, color of the lightning is actually different, which I kind of feel like it should match up, but maybe I'm quibbling there. Maybe maybe that's nitpicking. Uh, but again, the other pops that you see here include Han Solo, Princess Leia, and her um, Ewok, uh, you know, the Ewok Village outfit that she wore there, uh, Wicked, Lando, and of course, again, Emperor Palpatine. These are coming soon. No uh, specific release date for these particular items here. But there are exclusives and they are all exclusive to Target. And these actually do have a release date, which is March 1st. So I would imagine that the commons would be dropping around the same time, if not, you know, a little bit before that. Normally you get the commons before the exclusives or they, you know, uh, release at the same time. So again, that gives you an idea of when the commons should be available. But as far as the uh, Target exclusives are concerned, you see that there is a 10 inch wicket. And, uh, you know, seeing that pop now kind of makes me imagine what it would be like if there was a 10 inch flock pop that would be pretty you know crazy to see i know that queen bee customs actually did that with uh bullseye the target dog you know so yeah it would be amazing to see this wicked like that as well you also see here the flocked baby nippet which um that is a very cute figure i think that one's going to be pretty popular even people that may not be the biggest star wars fans just for the cute factor might consider picking that up and then there is a glow in the dark darth vader that i think is going to be highly sought after as well so again these target exclusives release on march 1st and yes march 1st is that huge day for target they have so many re um, releases coming out that day so Man, you know, keep um keep up on that. Basically, you can check out the previous Funko News videos again. Kind of get your list together and make sure you have the money to the side for that big day with Target on March first. Next up here, Shazam, and uh, I think this reveal of the Shazam pop was actually by the actor that's playing um Shazam. You know, of course, him in the actual superhero form. I think he's the one that released these images of the pop. Looks okay. You know, I don't think there's anything mind blowing about it, but I mean, it's definitely you know recognizable as Shazam right away. Uh, unfortunately, don't get to see the back of the box here, so not sure what other figures will be along with um you know this based off the movie. We'll just have to wait and see on that. But yes, yeah, Shazam Shazam pops obviously are on the way and then yes the pic pictures have been floating around Colonel Sanders is official you know he is on the way um, no specific release date I think um, he more than likely is going to be a common it appears that he's gonna be a common but we'll see you know for right now the images that have been floating around we don't see any stickers on the boxes but uh yeah, let me know how you think he turned out. I think he looks, you know, dead on, like, you know, for Colonel Sanders. Got the bucket of chicken in his, in his hands, of course, there. Um, and you can actually see his face and the KFC logo on the bucket, you know, so that's a nice detail there. It's just instantly recognizable. So as far as Colonel Sanders is concerned, I mean, this is about the best they could do with him. I think it is on point. And add icons collectors, I think we'll be pretty happy with this. So now we are getting into the rumor mill and um i'll be honest there are some things here that might seem a little bit confusing i will try to explain things here as best as i can though but yes let's go ahead and get into the rumor mill first of all it seems like pops of uh, based off of beverly hills are on the way 
just featuring Ax Axel Foley as far as I can tell thus far. So there should be two variants of Axel Foley from Beverly Hills Cop. This is not a complete surprise because obviously Eddie Murphy is cool with Funko using his likeness because we've had other pops from coming to America and trading places. So yeah, the Beverly Hills Cop pops, you know, that does seem very legitimate to me. Um, also, Adam's Family seems like they are on the way. Now, I don't know if it's going to be based off the original Adams Family or based off of the movies from, I believe it was the like, late 90s when those movies came out. But, um, you know, let me know what you think about that. Would you rather see the pops based off of the original family from the TV series or would you like them based off the movies? Me, either way, I'm just happy to see the characters, you know, and I think as pops, it's not like you would really be able to tell a big difference in them, you know, other than the pictures that may be placed on the box. But the pop themselves, I think either way, they're mainly going to look like the characters. So uh, along with the Adams family, we should possibly get, um, we should get, I just should say, Gomez, Morticia, Uncle Fester, Pugsley, and Wednesday. That's if this pans out. And I know right away some people are going to say we need Cousin It and we need Lurch as well and maybe even Thing in the mix there somewhere, you know, along with one of the other figures. I can agree with that, but at the same time, you know, Funko just releases a certain number of characters at a time. So if you want to see more of Adam's family, if these pops are legitimate and they get released, buy them. You know, uh, you don't really show Funko that you are interested in them and maybe they will do more. And then as far as the 80th anniversary for Batman is concerned, there should be a pop relating to the 80th anniversary. And this could actually be the uh, first the first look of Batman or the first um, Batman's very first appearance. That's what I'm looking for there. His first appearance, uh, there could be a, a Batman figure based off of that. And this would be probably him with the big ears and everything like that very first look of Batman. You know, not the golden age necessarily because it is kind of different from the first, the very first appearance. You know, his look did change pretty quickly there. So, um, yeah, we could get that first look Batman figure. And then it says a pop ride as well, which um, I'm really not sure which uh, Batmobile they might go with. If it even is a Batmobile, who knows? Maybe they'll switch it up and do something different. And let, you know, definitely let me know what, you, what would you like to see as a new Batman pop ride. So moving on here with some other possible upcoming pops. If this is true, then Funko is really going all out with 10 inch pops because this is a lot, you know, so potential upcoming 10 inch pops include Sully, of course, from Monsters, Inc., Chewbacca with Porg, uh, a Fortnite related 10 inch pop. I really don't know what character that might be at this time. And if you're a Fortnite fan, let me know which figure you would like to see possibly as a 10 inch pop. Also, uh, Simba. Of course, Simba, you know, from The Lion King, Rex from Toy Story, Pumbaa, of course, again, from Lion King, and Dumbo. Um, Dumbo doesn't surprise me. I think Dumbo makes a lot of sense as a 10-inch pop. I don't know if all of these need to be a 10-inch pop, though. Like, I think Chewbacca with Porg is kind of odd if that pans out to be true. I don't know how popular that one will actually be. Um, I'm not even sure about Simba, and, and, you know, I could see Rex. You know, I could see that one, but some of these I'm just not so sure about. Let me know what you think about it if you are cool with all these being 10 inch pops or you know which ones are you interested in and what other characters you would like to see as um 10 inch pops also it seems like there could be a new uh, version of squidward and patrick on the way that would not surprise me because funko did recently do the um the holiday versions of spongebob and patrick so it wouldn't surprise me like i said if they update squidward and just the regular patrick you know without the holiday thing and then with walgreens exclusives this is where it seems a little bit confusing but um I saw this list of possible Walgreens exclusives and it did have Adam's family listed there and it seems like there could be a Chase variant of Gomez and they did have Morticia and Uncle Fester listed. So I don't know if there's actually going to be more than one variant of these characters or if these are just the commons and they got lumped in with the Walgreens exclusives because that does happen sometimes. Sometimes when we see a list for Walgreens it might actually be a common or it could even be a re-release. So again with these Walgreens exclusives it's not completely clear clear if these are actually new exclusives but there could potentially also be some new horror mystery minis which i think that needs to happen that's kind of overdue for some new ones um also there could be another nightmare before christmas um exclusive with walgreens that would not surprise me um the monsters and uh, yes the monsters have been done before but there could be a new um figure who knows it could be a re-release of the um originals though we'll have to see what happens there same thing with hocus pocus i don't know if this is actually going to be something new or a re-release and uh with silence of the lambs hannibal i hope it's a, a different version of hannibal that would be nice to see another variant 
variant of him um, again it could be a re-release and same thing with pennywise but I, I hope this is a new pennywise that may be a walgreens exclusive so to clarify that again you know all these figures here yes I, these characters here for the most part have had releases already but these could be new variants these actually could be legit walgreens exclusives or re-releases you know we'll just have to wait and see exactly what happens with that so spoiler alert here this is your chance to uh, basically check out of the video if you don't want to know what is in the latest marvel collector core box that does focus on the x-men so if you got that box on the way and um you've already put your order in and you don't want to see what's in it you want to be surprised then again this is, is your spoiler alert please check out of the video but if you're curious about it you want to see what is in the box then stick with me because i am going to get into that but one more time if you don't want to see what is in the collector core x-men box then please go ahead and tune out of the video right now okay so here we go here, here are the items that will be included it's kind of tough to read on that actual sheet there so i will run it down here on the right side so that it does include a classic angel pop a dark phoenix rock candy figure a wolverine pen topper an xavier school notebook and beast socks and then the next box is going to focus on captain marvel which i don't think that's a big surprise there i hope they can figure out something cool to do with it though maybe a different scroll i, I hope it's not just I got a feeling it's probably going to be just another Captain Marvel pop and not really much interesting else to go with it. I hope that's not the case, but we'll see what happens there. Sometimes with the Collector Core, I feel like they play it a little bit too safe, um, but hopefully they'll take a chance with Captain Marvel and do something very unique. But getting back to the X-Men box, right away, I know some people are going to be disappointed that there's not a t-shirt. I understand that. Trust me, I do understand that because... Since the Collector Core has been with Amazon, I feel like they've only done one t-shirt and it may have been the Venom shirt. So I, I wish that was more consistent. I definitely agree with that. And I feel like these bee socks, that's way too specific. Not everybody is into uh, toe socks. That seems like a very specific type of item that shouldn't be placed in a, uh, a subscription box. I, I agree with that. I do think that the pen topper and the notebook are obviously fillers, but I'm not too bothered by that. I like the rock candy figure. I'm, I'm a fan of rock candy figures. I know some people aren't going to like that, but I like it. But um, yeah, I do expect to see a lot of those uh, Dark Phoenix rock candy figures popping up on eBay and Mercari, definitely. But again, I like it. It's a keeper for me. I do have, I did, um, you know, I do have the subscription going for the collector core, so I'm fine with that item. The classic angel, um, I like it. And it's not something I would have thought of, but I do like it, you know, and um. So I'm, I'm cool with this box overall. I feel like the value is somewhat there. I don't know if I feel like it's full value necessarily because I so don't care about the socks. Those are immediately going to somebody else, you know. Um, yeah, so th this could have been a better box. I know a lot of people are going to be unhappy with this. Some people may even unsubscribe from the Collector Core because I know people are very picky about these subscription boxes. Um, and I will say this, though. If you're not happy with it, then, you know, that's probably the best thing to do. Just unsubscribe and then wait and see because they do make the boxes available again if they don't sell out, but they will be at a higher price. So that's the gamble that you take with that. So that, that's really your choice, whether or not you stick with the subscription or you just wait and see what the, what's in the box and then decide to buy it later. But it will be at a higher price. That's really up to you. But I hope that there is that people don't go overboard with the complaints because I think that's what kind of push Funko from doing the boxes directly themselves previously you know people were just complaining way too much and it's like you don't have to get it just leave it alone if you're not into it and let the people that are into it enjoy it you know but um yeah so I'm not upset about this box I do think it could have been better of course Gambit would have been amazing Rogue would have been amazing um Nightcrawler wow would have been amazing you know there's a lot more they could have done a Sentinel would have been awesome there's so much with X-Men but hopefully you know at least this is a sign that they are willing to do more x-men so hopefully we will see those other characters soon so yeah that's pretty much going to do it for um this edition of funko news now i do want to uh, say i have noticed my numbers uh my subscription you know my, my number of subscribers going up pretty quickly here i think we will be at 25k here very soon 
um i really wanted to go ahead and let you all know how to enter the giveaway not quite ready for that just yet uh, because I, I'd actually want to have the prizes in hand. I want to show you all what is going to be available. So that's why I'm still waiting on that. But uh, hopefully I can do that within the next week or so. Um, I will say though, you know, please just support the channel by making sure you drop a like on the video and make sure that you share this video as well. That'll definitely be appreciated. And that's something that, you know, may have an effect on the outcome of the giveaway as well. So please make sure that you share the video. Um, that'll be greatly appreciated. And like I said, it may play into the giveaway way um as well but yeah hope everybody got something out of this video thank you all so much for the support as always and i'll talk to you all again real soon